Yo, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you haven't been here before, my name is Naya. I am based in Myanmar at the moment, but I'm currently in Australia um, due to coronavirus. So today, um, this video, it's exciting. I finally caved. Um, so since isolation, I've just been seeing Chloe Ting all over YouTube, which is really good for the gal. Um, but I've just been seeing everyone like do these two week challenges and I've been doing heaps of home workouts, but um, I haven't been doing as much ab work, I think personally, like I try to, av I don't try to avoid it. I mean like, okay, I kind, of, I kind of actively avoid it just because like, it's not my favorite thing to do. I'm pretty weak in my abs. Um, I've always like done a lot of running and like legs are really strong. My upper body's like, okay, but my ab area is just like not great. However, I know like, I think as I'm getting older, I'm like very concerned about, you know, getting bulging discs or like having lower back issues, which I really want to avoid. So I think the time is now to strengthen that core. Um, and what better time to do it than in isolation? Um, I also think that it's a good time to like create a habit. Um, and hopefully I'll get a strong core and then like continue on because I'll see the results. Um, so this two-week challenge is really exciting. I've chosen the one that she posted most recently, um, which is like the two-week ab challenge. I think she posted it in 2020, I think. Anyway, it's the one I link below. Um, but it's like back-to-back -back exercises, um, 30 seconds each and then 10 seconds rest. So it's about 10 minutes all together. Um, so I'm going to be doing this from today, which is May 7th, um, until May 20th. Oh, May 23rd. Uh, but yeah, so let's get started on this. I'm super excited. Um, my goals personally are just more like toning and strengthening as opposed to like weight loss because I feel like I am at a pretty good like weight and I'm not, I'm not really affected by that. I just more want to do it for like body conditioning and toning. Um, so I'm so excited to see the results. I think it'll be super challenging. It'll help me like be consistent with my eating because I think since I've been home in Australia, I have been a little bit to treat yourself. So let's get started. Let's get toned. Oh, whoop. Abs, here we come. 11 abs, as she would call them. Yay. finished day one pretty good I feel like I'm quite strong in the first few movements but at the end I get like quite um, uh, fatigued and tired um, and I feel it more like in my abs which is probably what the, the key is but um yeah so my goals will be definitely to be able to complete it all like effortlessly to a degree I think the biggest things that I struggle with are the up and down planks like every time <laughs> Chloe says oh up and down planks and the fact that it's like the last repeat one is just like so painful but yeah so that and then also um the bicycles get me yeah so I'm gonna work on that but yeah I think day one went pretty well excited to see how um it evolves and how my strength evolves in my core um because that's my key area that i'm targeting so let's look forward to the next 13 days of this <laughs> <sighs> day four done definitely feeling stronger um i think my core is definitely getting stronger. I'm able to do the movements almost in full for the full 30 seconds. I think there's only like two or three that I kind of um, get a bit weak at. Up and down planks is one of them. I think my bicycles can get a lot stronger. But by the end of the routine, I'm like pretty tired, my you call it. But I feel like it's working. I can feel, you know, my core getting tighter. I can just feel overall like strength, which is what I want to feel. Ten more days. Okay, 
So going through my diet, um, every morning for breakfast, after my workout, I have oats in some form. Sometimes I have oats um, that I just like microwave and I eat it like in liquid form. But sometimes I like to bake oats. I often like to bake oats. Um, so I'm preparing my baked oats here. So I just like microwaved um, like a handful of oats and then I put on um, coconut and like different seeds and berries and banana. Um, I like peanut butter a lot and it has a lot of protein in it so it's really good to use but at the moment I'm eating this peanut butter powder um, we bought it ages ago and we have like so much but this is it so what it is it's powder and they've taken out pretty much all the oil out of it and all like the more fatty stuff um, and they you just put it with water um, however much water you want and you can get as thick or as runny as you want so I've mixed them up with water so you can see it's like pretty thick um, and so, yeah, it's really tasty actually. Um, it's a lot healthier for you. I also do like just like natural butter with a lot of crunch, but I have a lot of this at the moment. My mom is like, finish it because you know she doesn't want it in the household. So here I am. Um, so I've put so yeah, I put a whole lot of peanut butter on top of my oats, and then um, I put it in the oven until it browns. Um, and the coconut's brown and the like, banana cooks and the berries melt, it's so good. So I'll put it in the oven. Good morning, it is day eight. Yes, it's day eight. So we only have six more days to go. Um, and I actually realized I will be finishing this on May 20th, not the 21st, but that's fine. Anyway, um, feeling like result kind of coming through. I think that this area has kind of gotten more like, if you can see, it's like the 11 line is kind of coming through, um, side on as well. Like I think I could get more definition if I just, to be honest, if I ate just a little bit healthier um, and with a little bit stricter, I think I have been like decently good, I think, um, but I have been like eating rice and stuff. But uh, I don't really want to affect like my, my normal diet too much because I just don't want to, um, be too like harsh on that but I think that um, as we keep going with the next six days I should get more definition um, keep t working hard on these abs but yeah I think like you can see kind of kind of coming through yeah definitely feeling stronger um, and some days are really hard like today I'm really not in the mood to do an ab workout um, but you know, I just push myself through because I know I'm gonna feel way better for it afterwards. So let's do it. <gasps> the up and down planks of the end. I just finished day 13, um, feeling stronger. My abs are coming through more. I can't really see it right now. But um, yeah, tomorrow is the last day. Today is the second last day, feels good. Um, but I've been doing like a little bit extra work for the last three days, um, just to make sure I'm burning, you know, um, fat and also trying to get that muscle def the ab definition as much as I can um, also just muscle definition all over the body so tomorrow is D-Day and I'm a bit nervous hopefully like I have decent results and you can see a change we'll see good morning it's day 14 we've made it um, so I'm about to do my last workout for the um, challenge um, so you know wish me luck on this I'm doing four different videos um, so that should be good but I mean yeah <laughs> Okay, 
Okay guys, so I finished. Um, I've showered, I'm freshly clean. Um, day 14 is done, all 14 days are done. Um, what a challenge, it was really good. I'm really, really proud of myself that I have completed it um, and that I pushed myself to do it. Um, I think it was, I feel like I have a few mixed emotions on it. So I think I'm like super proud of myself in terms of um, building the core strength, which was like one of my goals was just building core strength and um, just getting a bit more toned in that area. Um, also, secondly, um, just getting a routine as well. Like I feel like having a routine has really helped me build a more solid routine like um habit um and i think my core has definitely gotten strong and i think as we can see in the results like i've definitely um gotten a little bit like gotten stronger you know through like watching the videos of me back even when i was editing this uh, i was like wow like i actually can see the change like when i was doing it uh, day by day i didn't really see it as much but actually when i watch from like start to finish i'm like whoa good job gal um obviously i feel like I guess like when you see other videos on YouTube, you see some people maybe get more like shredded. Um, I didn't get as defined, which I think though is like really unrealistic of me to expect to get like super shredded after two weeks of doing core workouts so that I like barely do them before. Um, because, and also cause I wasn't like, I wouldn't say I was being like super strict with my diet. I was eating, I ate healthily, but I wasn't um, being like super duper duper clean, which would help me like cut a lot of fat. Also, um, it is the time of the month for me like coming up tomorrow so I'm getting a bit bloated but I feel like all in all really great job and like I feel like I kicked my goals with what I wanted to actually achieve from this um just getting myself like a better core strength now I can keep building on that so I feel like I've built myself a really good foundation um so I'm super happy with that um I trimmed down like one and a half inches uh which was really awesome just purely um obviously toning up more has helped me like get stronger in that core area um amazing like achievements that i feel like i've had specifically is like being able to do in and outs and like up and down planks um and um hundreds like the hundreds like in full um i pretty much could do them in full from about like day six um and i was really proud of myself because previously like i definitely wouldn't have been able to complete that in full um so lots of positives um I'm not going to get like bogged down on the fact that maybe like I don't look like super defined and like um, 11 abs, but I can see it coming through. Um, but yeah, I think it's just like a patience thing and with time it'll come. I think, yeah, you can't have unrealistic, unrealistic expectations of yourself. So I'm very happy with myself and I'm very proud. Um, I will continue. I won't stop here. I will keep going. Um, so I'm really happy that I did it and I recommend you guys to do it if you are feeling maybe like you just want to try and challenge yourself a little bit with like some sort of core strength. Um, you can do a Chloe Ting ab workout or like challenge or you can do like other people's. There's so many influencers out there. Find someone that relates to you. Um, fitness influencers, sorry. Um, that relates to you and I don't, like it motivates you. Um, I think that's like the best way to do it. I mean everyone you are like really great as you are i don't think that um there's like a specific need to do it for like um the do it for yourself essentially is what i'm saying like if you want to do exercise or you want to work out do it for yourself because maybe you want to look after your body or like for me it was building core strength so that i don't have back issues long term um so yeah find your reason it doesn't have to be because you want to be skinny or anything like that because that's not the best reason to do things sometimes um so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching till the end um if you have give this a thumbs up and comment below like i don't know your personal challenge or like what you thought of this video um and also don't forget to subscribe um yeah so woohoo thanks for watching bye guys